Hey guys, Grassman here, and I'm going to load Minor Gun Builder for the first time, or one of the first times, rather than starting in the game. Um, this is because it's something I discovered. Um, I discovered that from in the game, if you move your ship at any point in the game, it will put you to a different position from where you would naturally be. When you first come into the game, if I hit fly right now, which is, this is all we're going to do, we're just going to let it go. You see how this is enough? If I actually stop this for a minute here, if we look, what's my ship design? Look, I took this out. I changed this back. Now there's only three, uh, one, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's nine. I put the extra projectile back in, and look, it still works. Now it doesn't because I've moved it. Hang on. Okay, reloading the game. Wrong one. Damn it. Hang on. I will get this right. Uh, here, here, fly. Now it perfectly puts us in the middle. So every time we do this, we just have to reload the game. And it'll always put us in the middle, and then nine's enough. Then we get the extra projectile. And as long as we never move the ship at any point, it will always do this. Or at least for the first time it will. Ah, uh, sorry. Um, it is still going, though. You see that pause, it did not mess up. We have moved, moved a bit forward. Um, but we're basically just going to see... From what we had last time, how far can we go? I did do this like a couple minutes ago. I ended up getting to like over 400. So, and I was, it was still only going to like 8 seconds or so, or 7 seconds per thing. So, I'm guessing we might be able to get close to 800 to 1000. Um, but yeah. We can start getting a lot of red things. You can see we only have 8 now, but by 400 we'll have closer to like 33. It does ramp up like exponentially, or... It ramps up in some way. I don't know. Maybe it's like a piece to crone or something. <laughs> That'd be interesting. If the amount of, like, red things you had, you got per level, increased on, like, at the, the rate of the Brachis to crone. Which has, like, n the Brachis to crone is not, like, a f like some formula, like, f of x. The Brachis to crone is, like, the best way to, like, accelerate a circle. Accelerate a, a ball down a ramp. Or a circle down a line, a curved line. Um, yeah, how would that even work? Because at some point it starts like curving back on itself. Would over enough time you like? After enough time, would you start getting less? It'd be interesting. Because at some point it just goes straight up and then curves back. But we're already, yeah, we're already, like, kind of halfway to where I was, except now it really slows down. Now we're not clearing multiple per, like, second anymore. We're getting, like, oh, well, I guess two or three per second still. But now it's going much slower. We're not really having the projectiles, at least too much. We're not having them die from, like, lifetime issues. Now it's often just, they all do, like, exhaust themselves from running into the walls. I do think in the later designs we're also supposed to put a bit more AoE in, so that we can, like, get... Um, so that we can kill, um, all seven lines at once instead of just four and then three. Because that will make it, like, twice as effective or so. Because then we don't need all the extra projectiles. We may also put in, um, um, a straight-up pierce instead of, like, the pierce with extra damage one. Because at some point the extra damage just doesn't matter. We're already at 320 now. Just a hundred off from the funny number. But yeah, it's, it does really, like, slow down later on. For now, like, this is the point where it's slowed down for us, but we're still at, like, 5.8 per minute, which isn't correct. Um, what's the true time we've been going for? It looks like it's going to be 4 minutes, and we'll have about, like, 26. So 26 over 4 is... Uh, 28 is an easier 5, 6, 7. So we get 28. It'd be 7 per minute. Right now, that, like, 6, six and a half number is looking pretty accurate. For a 27 over 4. 27 over 4. 26 and a half over 4? 27 over 4. There we go. Yeah. I, I shouldn't be making this video. It's like way... It's like... I, I was supposed to go to bed like an hour and a half ago already and I still have to finish this. But we are going quite far and I figured I... I should. I figured I should farm some red ones and then I figured, you know what, I should record this because I've gotten so far and I was supposed to like do this next time. Record how far we can get. In 5 minutes, we've already gone 400 away. 
I, I should have been like, I should do, I should be doing this more while I just like AFKing. I guess I'm not AFKing my day, but while I'm like playing another game, I just like put this on and just let it go, and and like just leave it running while I go like do anything else, like while I'm playing DRG or something. I tried my first deep dive today. Um, it did not go well. You mean a friend of mine? Um, but the friend of mine's not very good at the game. Um, my, my friend, the, the friend enjoys playing the game, but, like, like, yeah, I, I don't want to be, like, mean or offensive, but has basically, like, nothing of what you need for, like, games. Um, they're, like, s slower reaction time, slower, slower reaction time, um, slower, lower perception, doesn't, like, always follow stuff, uh, bad hearing. Uh, not bad memory, always gets lost, and in, like, DRG especially, it's bad. So, like, really, like, not the kind of game they should be playing, but they love the game, so. Um, I did my first deep dive with them. We died on the first... We got through the first one. No, we died on the first one. Then we played again to die on the second one. And then we played again to die on the third one. Right, that's why it took, like, five hours. We played over and over and over. So we died on the third one. Um, first one wasn't that bad. It was low oxygen, but it was fairly quick. Um, second one was no nothing special. So it was just, like, easy. It was a, um... What was it? More Kite and Dreadnoughts? The third one was also a Dreadnought. We had Dreadnoughts in every single one, but it was seven of Quarks on top of a Dreadnought. But then the worst part... So it was, uh... It was also the Land Raiders. So even after we got all seven of Quarks, it was the, like, um... The, the two Dreadnoughts, Land Raider and Arbalist. So it's, like, possibly one of the harder fights. We were also having a thing where, like, this, my, our, my friend was a scout, and I was an engineer. Wherever the scout went on, on, the, on the platforms I had set up, um, spikes would appear, like, under them. They'd zip away, and then on the other platform, on the other side of the map, spikes would immediately appear under them, even if there was no Dreadnought close. And I'm not sure if that's how the Dreadnoughts are supposed to attack or not, but that was happening for whatever reason. We were having problems with that. But the worst part of all that was it was a haunted cave warning on that one. And Low Oxygen and Haunted Cave are, like, the two worst warnings in the game. Haunted Cave basically means a giant... It's like a giant ghost detonator that can't be killed. And it's slow, it is like a detonator speed. But it's huge. I assume it can go through walls? I don't. I doubt you can dig away from it. Um, it can only appear in, like, a couple of the mission types. Like, a quarks, I assume, eggs and... And maybe, like, the, uh, oil ones, but... I know it can appear in qu a Quarks. That's the only two times I've had it, and my god, is it annoying. Um, I didn't end up dying to it. I ended up dying to a combination of just, like, normal bug attacks, because there was a swarm that had also appeared, like, mid like partway through the fight, and the Dreadnoughts. Um, and I, I had, like, dash and heightened senses on. So, like, I, could, I was using dash to get away. The scout was hopping around. The scout ended up dying to those under-the-floor attacks, and I died in, like, a similar way, just, like, not being able to escape the Dreadnoughts. So, yeah, it was just, just didn't go well. So what are we at now for each destroying thing? It's like seven and a half, we're only down like two and a half seconds per thing we destroy here. That's not that bad. Yeah, like, like there, seven and a half. That was seven. So now we're down to like seven. So it seems like we're still going to get to seven, eight hundred. And we're gonna be going for a while yet. Yeah, this is the really slow part where it's taking like oh, forever to like actually destroy anything. I will pause it and just wait at some point, but even then, I have to like, even then, I have to get going to bed soon, so I can't just like wait forever for this. So, I will like at some point, if the video starts getting too long, pause it and like pause it, but uh, hang on, let me be back a second. Okay, all good. It's still not like misaligned or anything. But yeah, this is going to start taking a long time. I missed the funny number. Oh, I missed 420. I, I, I missed it by like 140 at this point, but... Why is it Why is it 69 and 420? What do those have to do with anything? Like, why are those the funny numbers? Can we just have like 47 be the funny number? I, I always find stuff fascinating with like, um... 
stuff like if you ask people to think of a random number, seven is the most common answer. Like if, if you ask someone to think of a random number, you can of you can very often actually predict what they are going to say. If you ask someone like like if you put a bet like I bet I can I bet I can guess what the random number you will think of is, and then you write down a number, and then like and then you and then you tell them think of a random number, and they will they will very often say seven. Maybe maybe the results would change if you were actually like doing it for money if you were writing down a number, but they would still very often pick seven. Like you could do this as like a magic trick, like like on the board I have a hidden number. <laughs> Think of a random number in your head. Now, I'm going to flip the board around. Seven. Raise your hand if I got it right. And like 90% of the room raises their hand. Being like a magician and a mathematician must be like very help. Being a mathematician for doing magic must actually be like very helpful. You, get a you could get a lot of very interesting number tricks. This is really taking a while to break now. We're still only down to like six seconds. Maybe we we should probably be able to hit seven hundred, but maybe we won't go too much further than that. It, it's like pretty much eighty five hundred now, and then the next one's immediately like fifty up. Yeah, so it's increasing by quite a bit each time now. It is going to like start exponentially slowing us down because it's increasing by an increasing amount. What is that? Because that's not exponential, is it? Exponential is where it gets more and more and more by some exponentially increasing factor each time. Whereas linear would be like if it's going up 2 by 2 by 2 by 2. But it's not exponential if it's increasing by... If it's increasing by 2 times the round number. So if it's round 1, they have 2. Then on round 2, 2 times 2 is 4. So it goes up by 4. Cause then it, and then it goes up by 6. Because then it's just... It, it's like 2, 6, 12, 20, 30. It's increasing... It's increasing at an increasing rate, but the amount of increase is linear. So, like, you're gonna go from, like, a million to, like, a million and a hundred, and a million and a hundred and two, a million and a hundred and... A million and a hundred, a million and a hundred and two oh two, a million and three oh four... You're not doubling it, you're increasing it at an increasing rate. Wh what would that be? Because it's not exponential, but it's not linear. It's like, it's an, it's an in-between number. It's almost linear and it's almost exponential, but it's neither. Is there a term for that in math? It certainly gives you some weird numbers. Increasing at an increasing rate. What would all the numbers are like the most simple equation for that be? Just like z like zero plus zero, then zero plus one, one plus two is three, then that'd be six, ten. Fifteen. I guess the most simple form of it would just be to, like, add all the... No. No, that's wrong. Huh? Wait. Has it been 13 minutes? Yeah, if you're just adding one each time, you'd just be adding all the whole numbers. And adding all the whole numbers... So you should just be adding all the whole numbers in that case. So you get you get one three one three six ten fifteen twenty one twenty twenty one twenty eight thirty six forty five and then fifty five is from t is ten. Is there a is there a number is there a, like a math symbol for addition factorial? Like if I said ten additive factorial, it would it, could it could it just be like an exclamation point where the dot is like instead of a dot for multiplication is a plus for for like instead of multiplication 
like 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2? Instead of a multiplication for a dot in the exclamation point, could it be a plus? An exclamation point where the dot's a plus? For a di additive, fac additive factorials? That'd be cool. So then what are, what are the additive factorials? Of 10, we know it's 55. Of... What would the additive factorial of 20 be? There's easier ways to figure it out. It'd be, it'd be like... The average ends up summing to something like... The average ends up summing to something like 10 times 5. Or times 10. So it'd be like 100? That can't be right, because just after 10 is 55. It'd be 5 times... No, times 2. No, halfway... No, the whole amount times 2. It'd be 20 times... 20 times... No. It'd be 10 times... It'd be 20. 20 times 10? 200? Is that right? For the additive factorials? The additive factorials of 20? Is it like around 200? Um, so plus 11 is 66. Plus 12 is 78. 13 is 91. 14 is 105. 15 brings us to 120. 16 is 136. 17 is 147. 153. 18. Set one. Set 171. 19. Goes from 171 to 190, and then 20 is 210, which makes sense because we'd have to add the 10. Because 10 is in the middle of it, there is no average of it. So you add, you, it'd be, it'd be 20 times 10 plus half of 20, which is 10. That'd be 210. I've thought about this way too much. I've, and I've also, also, yes, I have thought about this, like, a lot in my spare time. Um, hi, I, hi, me like math. Have you guys, like, realized that, like, I really like math by this point? I, I feel like I've made it abundantly clear. Like, far too obvious at this point. How close are we? Like, three and a half still, jeez. Hey, 666! It's me, guys. Grassman, 666 here. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I don't know at what point this is gonna stop. We are getting close to the end, certainly, but... How close? 14.9. Are we at the point where we can go up, like, 200s at once? Or, like, over 100 in total? That's not... That, I didn't explain that well. 15. Are we at the point where we can go up over 100? And therefore, over, like, 0.2k? Yeah, okay. Now we're at that point where it can jump over 100 in one turn. So it won't always jump by over 100, but it can. So the health is in fairly rapidly increasing now compared to my damage output. We're still surviving like 3 to 4 seconds per, per round. So I will probably pause it around 20 minutes. I'm um, gonna leave it there. So we're getting quite close to that. Yeah, so what are all the added factorial numbers then? I guess similar to the normal factories, you just be able to like, count them up. Like we already we already got like I just said all of them from one to twenty, and you'd, it'd be really easy to calculate them more easy than like normal factorials. Wait a minute, can a normal factorial, like ten factorial, if you multiply, no, if you multiply ten by two times so ten one. No, 10 and 2 is 20, 9 and 3 is too high, that's 27. No, there's no, no good way. No, because as you go closer to the middle, unlike with addition, it won't always hit the same thing. As you go closer to the middle, 5 times 4 is more efficient than 9 times 1. So 10 and 2 is going to be beaten by, by like, 6 times 6, which is not a calculation you do. 
I was just wondering if there's an easier easier way to calculate factorials that we've completely overlooked, but no, unfortunately not. Um, I mean, I guess depending how you like look at it, if you think like multiplying bigger numbers is easier or something. Um, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna pause this here because we're still waiting for like we're still at the point of, like two and a half, three seconds. So we'll see where we get to. So uh, talk to you in a minute. We have now passed 700. We're getting close to 20k health. Um. Uh, yeah, my predictions are not 800 or 1,000 anymore, probably, like, closer to 7... 730, 750. Okay, we're getting really close. The last round was about, like, half a second away from death. So they were one second, or, like, 1.3. So we're getting close now. Um, I don't know how much longer, because the last round could have just been unlucky. At some point, we're going to get an unlucky round here and lose now. Because on, on the next unlucky round, like what happened last time, we're going to lose, because it's got so much health now thing is, when is that round going to happen? That was very close. See, that, that one was very close, and that one was slightly unlucky. But the average is still going to take a little while yet. So we might have to wait another minute or so here. Okay. I'm going to give the outro now, just so I can like immediately turn it off after, after we like lose, okay? <laughs> That's not good with everyone. So we got about, about like, 60-ish, give or take. Uh, like, closer to 38. Uh, um, and we got to about wave 730. And like, 22,000 health. Or more. 22.5. Uh, yeah, so... We ultimately should have, like, stopped earlier on to, like, get more efficient amounts, but, you know, if I'm leaving it AFK, it's fine. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Remember, if you enjoy my content, feel free to like and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Also, I've decided to short, like... Um... Oh, we almost lost there. I've decided to, um, say the intro slower, so I stopped, like, slurring it. I realized I was rushing through the intro for whatever reason. Um, and now we wait. I said bye like a minute before the video is going to end. I'm kind of just waiting. I, I kind of hope it ends soon. I don't want like, to risk the video crepping. I'm, I'm, is it bad that I'm rooting for death now? Come on. Blue bar. Blue bar. Blue bar. Blue bar. Blue bar. Come on. Come on. You're going to... Come on. Come on. Ah. Uh. Lucky, lucky round, damn it. Too much good luck today. Oh, it's close. It's, come on, blue bar. Blue, 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 blue. Ah, not even close. Too much, too much luck at the end there. I swear that green bar's cheating sometimes, eh? It's like stack the blue bar against it. Okay, I actually have to pause this again. It was the, 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 the very next round. Fuck. It, it was the very next round, come on. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. I've already said this. Bye.